if um, a Canon C100, so I saw footage in an interview on it. I shot on a Canon DSLR um, M6, and I shot a tiny bit of audio dual system and some cover video on it. And then I have a couple little clips from a Zoom audio recorder that I used. So um, I'm going to go into Premiere Pro and I'm going to import things and I'm going to bring them in as bins so I, they're organized. So again, I can file import or I can command I and I'm going to go find um, my work. And there's these three folders. So if I don't go in the folders and bring them in individually, if I just click on the folders and say import, it's going to import everything into three bins down here in my project area. Okay. And that way they can kind of be organized. I know my interview is going to um, start with my C100 footage. So I'm going to double click in here and I got footage and I'm looking for my interview. Um, I'm going to start with my wide, or actually I'm going to do it the first way. Here's my first information. So I'm going to listen to it. My name is Bob Moss. Tom, Bob, you know. My name is Bob Moss, and I live in the District 70 schoolhouse um, outside of Wahoo, Nebraska. And me and my wife and, and family have lived here about 10 years. We, we raised our kids through junior high and high school and late grade school here. Okay, so I got my first little part here, and I'm going to drop it down in my timeline, and I have my first little part. Okay. Me and my wife and, and family have lived here about 10 years. Notice my audio over here on the right. From Wahoo, Nebraska. And me and my wife. It's on one channel. So I, I was one channel into that camera with a lavalier mic. So in post, I need to fix that. Um, outside of Wahoo. Because right now, Wahoo, Nebraska. you would only be on left channel. And last year, I had students compete in a national contest. And they did a beautiful piece. And when I went to listen to it, and me and my wife, this is what I saw. And I think they would have pl probably placed the top three to five with their project. But I'm sure the audio post, you know, kind of messed them up. Years we raised our. Okay, so I'm going to fix that first. Um, so I can come over to over to here to my effects. And if I come over to effects over here. If I go to audio effects, and I know what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for a fill. So there's fill left with right and fill right with left. So if I drop this on here, watch what happens. Boss and I live in the District 70 schoolhouse um, outside of... So now I have a nice stereo thing here. The other thing I like to do when I'm working with audio is I like to come down here and make the track wider so I can see what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna use my plus to zoom in and I can see my waveform, okay? And this also gives me a level. So if I'm watching here, I wanna get closer to the six. So this little white line right here is a level. So I'm gonna take it up a little bit. And me and my wife and family have lived here about. Try getting a little bit closer to the six. About 10 years, we've raised our kids through junior high and high school. And Okay, so that, that, that kind of has that clip ready. So I'm going to come back over to my interview and see where I want to go next. Um, we really like it. Um, it was a working schoolhouse up until the point um, where the state put all the Class C1 schools up for sale. Um, and we bought it on an auction and um, we didn't think we'd get it. And all of a sudden, a sudden at the auction, my dad came out and we, we won the bid. And then we had to turn it into a home from a schoolhouse. It's a classic old two room schoolhouse. So um, it, it's kind of a big schoolhouse. From a schoolhouse. It's a classic. 
It's a gold two room schoolhouse. Uh, so I hope so. So I'm going to go turn it into a home from a schoolhouse. It's a classic old two. It's a classic old two room schoolhouse. So um, it, it's kind of a big schoolhouse. Um, they used to divide it into two classrooms and they taught probably in the old days K through 12. And um, when it when it was still open, it was still a K-8 school. And then they go to the Wahoo Public Schools. And an interesting fact about living here is my wife's first surf sail realm. And an interesting fact about living here is my wife's first job is a speech Remember your JKL keys. For the Fremont, uh, service unit out of Fremont. And this is one of the schools that she used to come out to. And she actually worked in this school before we ever lived here. Okay. So JKL keys, J goes backwards. And the more you hit it, the faster it goes. K pauses, L's forward. And the more you hit L, so it's kind of a shuttle. So when I'm doing interview stuff like this, I'll use those keys to set points. Okay, so I can bring this next shot down here. Okay, and I can see how this sounds. We've lived here about 10 years. We've raised our kids through junior high and high school and late grade school here. And an interesting fact about... And notice my... Okay, so instead of going all through the work, because notice, look at my levels again over here. She was working for it. If I want to... Now that I have it set here, and this should be close to the same, if I control click and copy on this, now I can select this one and go control click and say paste attributes. And I want to paste the volume and the right and the, put the filter in there. So if I hit OK, now there is my wife. So I have my first edit, and this is what you're going to call a jump cut. My name is Bob Moss, and I live in the District 70 schoolhouse um, outside of Wahoo, Nebraska. And me and my wife and family have lived here about 10 years. We've raised our kids through junior high and high school and late grade school here. And an interesting fact about living here is my wife's... Okay, I, I got pretty good breaths in there. I'm going to zoom into here, and I'm going to kind of clean those breaths up a little bit because I got two breaths in there. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the one breath in there. So if I zoom in, if I select a gap, and I hit delete, let's see how that sounds junior high and high school and late grade school here and an interesting fact about okay so again watch my head that is a jump cut in late grade school here and an interesting fact about i don't want you guys i don't want to see jump high cuts high in your piece in late grade school here so that's where we're going to go into cover video so i'm going to come back over to um my project i can hit my up air and go back to my bins and I know I have um, some footage in the M6 folder that I want to look at and use. I think I'm going to start with this one. I kind of like, I'm sitting there with my one dog and the other dog and cat come running in. I'm going to use that as a piece of cover. And that's plenty right there. I could bring the audio with it. So if I'm going to bring the audio with it, here, there's different ways we could handle this, okay? Um, I want to cover this jump cut. So I think I'm going to bring it in Kids through about here. And I'm going to bring the audio in too. So I'm going to bring this down to here. I'm going to turn this off. These are also targets. So if I bring these in, look where it's going to put them. It's going to put them where the targets are. So... I'm going to drop that in, and I just covered that edit. And if you watch this, you're not going to really see that there's an edit. You're going to think I saw that, or I just read it straight through. Of course, you can see it. My name is Bob Moss, and I live in the District 70 schoolhouse um, outside of Wahoo, Nebraska. And me and my wife and family have lived here about 10 years. We've raised our kids through junior high and high school and late grade school here. And an interesting fact about living here is my wife's first job is a speed. Okay. So 
I'm gonna actually get rid of this audio or I'm gonna bring this audio up one and I'm gonna keep that gnat sound underneath that we talked about the other day, but I thought it was too loud with the wind. So I'm gonna bring that gnat sound down a little bit and see if it's a little better. We've raised our kids through junior high That's and better. high school and late grade school here. And an interesting fact about living here is my wife's first job is a speech. So that, that's why you call it cover video. It's covering. I'm talking underneath. My name is Bob Moss, and I live in the District 70 schoolhouse. Or it's called B-roll. So in the old days, and me and my wife we would and actually and switch to it and have two tapes, and that would be your B-roll tape. junior high and high school and late grade school here. And an interesting fact about I mean, that's a nice little edit there. My wife's first job is a speech pathologist. Okay. So that's the beginning of the interview. We'll go on a little bit more. I want to talk about awesome. one more thing because there's another way to bring this down. If I do this, it, it's the exact same thing. It's, if we watch it. We've lived here about 10 years. We've raised our kids through junior high. So it kind of depends on how you want to do it. Here. And again, I'll stress there's three Two to four ways of doing everything. And an There's no right or wrong. About living here is because this is the exact same edit. You know, I mean, at least the way it looks here. With one, the video still underneath, which it doesn't since it's full screen, it doesn't matter. And then one, it is on line one. Okay, and with this, it's a personal choice if you want to put dissolves in here or the cuts. I kind of like the cuts, but if I come in here. Um, I can control click and add a default transition and then I can do the same thing down here, default transition. And I want to get rid of the audio one and you decide if you like what you like better. In years, we've raised our kids through junior high and high school and late grade school here. And an interesting fact about living here is my wife's first job is okay. a So it's yours as a preference if you cut or you do a dissolve. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to dissolve some in and cut others in. You need to be consistent. When you watch movies, there's consistency. When you watch interviews, there's consistency. So you don't want to bring one piece of cover in with a dissolve and bring the next one in with a cut. So keep your stuff consistent. And we'll be back with part two.